Okay, so today's pet of the day is the Arctic Hare. I call mine Hayaku. It just means like hurry up or something in Japanese. I don't know. I just thought it was a, a cool name. Anyways, Arctic Hare, the SS breed, is considered a tier one pet. It's really good. Tier one, top tier, you know, like one of the best. Because of a few things it has going very well for it. For one, uh, 357 speed is really fast. We have this guy over here, the Youngling Flare. He's a pretty normal pet. So he only has like almost all breeds available to him. His SS breed is only 325. That's like baseline speed. If someone is an SS pet, that's about as fast as they usually go, except for some. There are some exceptions. And Arctic Hare is like one of those exceptions. He's really fast at 357. I think he might even be faster. Yeah. He's faster than a Death Adder Hatchling, who's good because of his speed. Same thing with the Fiendish Him. 333, Arctic Hare, 357, blows him all out of the water. Uh, the Arctic Hare is the fastest pet in PvP that's competitive and not a flying type. So he's just really good for a lot of things. Plus he has a couple of moves that really take advantage of his ridiculous speed. Oh, actually, you know what? I, I have like this little checklist I have for this video. What I, where, what I was gonna talk about. Uh, to get this, it's super easy. Basically, just go pretty much anywhere, and you can find one that's SS. So, like the whole checklist I had for this video was, where do you get it, and why it's good, basically. And I kind of just skipped that. Uh, Arctic Hare is super easy to get. Just look for an SS breed, and you're good to go. And then just change it to a, a rare breed with a pet stone. So much easier to do that because pet stones are really easy to get than it is to look for a rare one. Saves you so much time. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's talk about why he's so great. So, like I said before, he's he's really fast. You really don't want any of the power breeds because they're they hit like nothing. His the only power breed I think he has available is the HP breed. And that one only hits for 257 which is super weak <laughs> because like the baseline power power ones are at 325 you know just like the same for speed like actually I have a flare youngling that's also a power power one at level 25 so let me take a look at that one this is the SS one yeah see the flare youngling at power power it's only at 325 which is not half bad that's like baseline and the only power breed available to this one is 257 which is like super super weak so you don't really worry about their attack they do decent enough damage you're gonna you're gonna be whittling away at them okay so yeah he's not the strongest pet in the world but he is super fast and because of his two abilities dodge and burrow that speed where you can outspeed basically anything but uh, flying types because you know flying types have the ratio where when they're above 50% health they're 50% faster. Um, you have your dodge ability. If you go first in the round with dodge, you're basically getting a free turn off of it. Because if you go first, you're going to dodge whatever attack comes at you during that turn, and then you're going to have the dodge buff, you know, during your next turn. So you're basically using up the ability to dodge and then on your next turn you'll have dodge where you're basically not going to take any damage except for except dot damage. Dot damage will hit you through a dodge as long as the dot is already up before you use dodge. So you have that free turn to just use a flurry and then you have burrow which since you're faster than your opponent you can use it proactively to dodge an ability. Say they're like charging up a deep breath or something. I don't think I have a pet that can actually use deep breath say they have some kind of like multi turn ability or one of their abilities is about to come off cooldown let's say like son of seath um, drain blood is about to come off cooldown you could use that opportunity to use a burrow to block drain blood which is really great because if you are able to dodge that drain blood then uh, he you can probably kill it because if you're able to dodge those drain bloods on a son of seath you can that's like the best way to take it down because drain blood is pretty OP so, the Arctic Hare being able to dodge with two abilities is really what makes me good. There aren't really too many other pets that have the ability to dodge two abilities. There are some that are able to dodge like one, some of them have dodge, but most other pets don't have a dodge and a burrow. But the dodge is way better than burrow because burrow only blocks for that one turn and your opponent knows exactly what they're going to be hit with 
on the next turn since you were faster you were able to dodge them but on the next turn they can just pretty much hit you with whatever they want because they know you're going to come out of the ground to hit them but burrow does hit decently hard so you don't have to worry about that okay so we've got dodge and burrow out of the way those two abilities are really great and you usually only ever take dodge and burrow but there is an interesting thing about flurry now there are a lot of other pets that have multi-hit moves and almost all multi-hit moves like they have the same uh, clause to it where pummels the enemy one to two times dealing whatever damage hits an additional time if the user attacks first so the flare youngling has blitz which is basically like flurry the ravenger hatchling has rend which is basically like flurry except these two hit a little bit harder I think the ravenger hits really hard I, I'll do own, my own video on ravenger later but anyways yeah they both have abilities where they can go first and they both go first a lot because he also has like a slow or anything but Arctic Care will be able to use that extra hit a lot more often than these two pets because he is just so fast but there's one other thing about Flurry that you should probably know about and also kind of bumps him up above the rest of the you know blitzers and wrens or quills is that Flurry hits multiple times no matter what it's like it's scripted differently for some reason but that means if you're going against let's say uh where is he at um there he is the mechanical pandaren dragon if you're going against this guy which you do go against a ton in pvp they're going to be using this neat little ability called decoy here let me put him up here decoy which blocks two attacks if you're going against the decoy with a Ravenger Hatchling and you're faster than the Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling and you're using Rend, it'll only absorb one attack because it does the additional attack only if the first one lands. With Flurry though, it will attack both times if you're faster, no matter what, because it'll always do the additional one because the first hit and the second hit have separate hit modifiers, like they both let's say this had like a 90% chance to hit the first hit they would roll a dice for if it was gonna hit or not and the second one they'd roll a separate dice but for all other multi-hit moves like rend or the flares blitz uh, they only have one roll for the hit and since flurry has two hits and two rolls it will attack two times against the decoy if you're faster which you should be unless you have like some kind of slow and it'll get rid of decoy in one move which is amazing because the other ones don't. <laughs> They'll still need to attack two times, take two turns to get rid of the decoy. Rabbit can get rid of it in one turn, which is ridiculously good. And only Flurry. Flurry is literally the only multi-hit move that can get rid of a decoy in one turn. All the other multi-turn moves don't work that way. So that kind of what separates the Arctic Hair from the rest of the uh, pets. In addition to having two abilities, which dodge, so, you know, that's really good, having two ways to dodge your opponent's attacks. If you're able to predict your opponent, say you want to dodge your opponent's, uh, where is it at? The Unborn Valks, here, let me put it up here. Say you want to dodge his Haunt or Curse of Doom, you can. You can, like, dodge, and then you, like, flurry a turn or not, and then use a Burrow to dodge Haunt, and if these two abilities get dodged, since they have long cooldowns, that really screws him over. So Arctic Hair is really good at taking out Valks, and Valks are really popular in PvP because of, well, I'll go over that in a, in a different video. So, well, they also have like the type of bonus, they're really good against Valks. That's kind of what makes Arctic Hairs good, is because so many undead pets are good in PvP. <laughs> so yeah, he's able to dodge two abilities, plus his flurry is scripted differently from all other multi-hit moves, so he's able to take out Decoy in one hit. So those three things, if they ever do fix Flurry, he'll be a little bit, he'll be bumped down from tier one. He might, he'll still be really good, but because of the bugged Flurry, well, I wouldn't say bugged. It's just, it's scripted differently. It's basically how all the other multi-hit moves should work, but it's the only one that actually does work that way, where it'll hit two additional times if one of the abilities get dodged or blocked, because the other ones, they only like hit once unless they have to like hit the first time for the other ones to actually hit and Flurry's the only one that it doesn't matter because it hits two times anyway no matter what as long as you're faster than your opponent so 
it can even get like the third hit off so you can still like actually hit a dragon lane during a flurry and I can't stress enough how how good that is just because of how prevalent Pandaren dragon lanes are in PvP because decoy is a really good ability plus he's able to dodge abilities <laughs> I think you know what I I pretty much already talked about it. I'm just going to be repeating myself so to sum this up Arctic Hares are good because they're really fast if you have the SS breed only they can outspeed them you know out of good pets are flying types so there's only like one pet that can outspeed him that's a tier one pet and that would be a where is it at I know I have it up here it's a flying type though oh, I can never find him oh here it is the Terracle Hatchling Terracle Hatchling can outspeed it if it's above 50% health so you probably get countered by Terracle Hatchling but you can outspeed pretty much everything else plus flurry gets rid of decoy and it's the only multi-hit move that actually does it so really good and like the only easy I think he's like the easiest to get tier one pet on the list now Emperor Crab and Spirit Crab are pretty easy to get to I'll, I'll talk about those later so he's like one of three of the easy to get tier one pets that will do very well in a vast majority of teams